Hey everybody, Costa Rica card collector here. So I wanted to share a new painting that I'm doing, a King Griffey Jr. painting I'm doing for a member in the community. And uh, this one's coming along really nice. I added some special stuff there in the background. I put the American flag and some, you know, some, you know, I put his name and, some, you know, some, how you say, personalization on there. And one of the things that I love to do is the sky. Uh, we laid out a uh, sunset sky there. And I just wanted to come along and show you some of the things that I do here. And um, you guys know I love to do the uh, the fabric of the clothing and the highlights and stuff like that. But I wanted to share a little bit of the lettering. I'm doing some of the lettering right now. And I'll show you how I go about doing that. So um, I'm going to blow this up very large so you guys can see that. And go down here. And I think that last stroke, I may have to take that off. Let's get that in line with that stroke there. And we'll come back across here like this. Come down. Let me see how that is showing up there for you guys. I got my big hand in there. And give me a second. Let me get my big hand out of the way. And we'll bring that up and show you guys how we do that again. Give me a second here. We'll take that off. So you can even have a shaky hand and pull these off. Um, we'll go this way. And I can actually even pass over the top. And I'll watch what I'll do here. I'll hold my finger down. It'll change the color up in the corner. Well, you guys can't see because I got it blown up so big. But then I can go back over and mark over the top of here. Instead of, you know, going boxing down and around and around. But I still have to do that anyways. But uh, go back and change the color. Come back down. And I give you guys a quick example. I'm going to come in here and probably clean this up a little bit later on. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick idea of how I do that. And I'll go back through, clean any overbleed of, of the other lines. But uh, just wanted to share that with you guys. I really like the way that this one came out. I did a lot of details in the bat. I did the uh, little donut in the bat. I thought that came out pretty cool. Uh, I got a few more details to do on the glove, the, the helmet. And some highlights to do in the background and foreground. And I think I got this one finished. And uh, thanks for coming by, guys. Short video today. Have some new videos coming up. You might got some uh, some product to actually open up. And uh, enjoying doing the Star Stock videos, guys. If you're coming along for the journey with the Star Stock videos, doing that to try and add some cards to my collection. And it's kind of hard for me and Matt to bring cards here from eBay all the time. So that was getting kind of expensive for us. So we found a little bit easier way to group up our cards. And we actually got some cards coming home from... Star Stock, it's just been about, ooh, about two, three weeks until uh, they're going to get here. So uh, we'll see you guys another time. Pure Vita, as we always say, and stay safe, guys. Thanks for stopping. Hey, guys, thanks for coming back. I forgot to mention a couple of things that I've been doing a lot of things for people in the community. And uh, I've actually been working on uh, this logo here for Beaver Breaks. So if, if anybody's interested in getting a logo done, too, I actually do the logos for your mats and stuff like that, too. And... Uh, Having a really good time doing these. Guys, if you remember any of the other ones that I've done, uh, you're welcome to ask me um, to make one for you at any time. Uh, this was the one that I did for, for Filthy. It came out just wonderful. And uh, it's actually one of my favorite ones. I have it hanging on the wall. Guys, thanks for stopping by. Sorry to cut back in on you. But uh, stay safe again and have a great day. And uh, take care.